But first tonight, the Rhode Island Coalition Against Domestic Violence speaking out after this weekend's murder-suicide in Woonsocket. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian joins us live in studio now with what she's learned about other cases like this here in Rhode Island. It's new at 530. Kim? Well, Caroline and Mike, this particular case left a seven-year-old boy without his parents. Today, I spoke with the Rhode Island Coalition Against Domestic Violence, who says every year in Rhode Island, children are present for nearly 2,000 incidents of domestic violence that result in arrests. A deadly case of domestic violence in Woonsocket this weekend brings the number of domestic murder suicides this year to three. The tragedy playing out the day before the start of Domestic Violence Awareness Month, a time Lucy Rios of the Rhode Island Coalition Against Domestic Violence says they will use to try and dispel misconceptions. It's like people believing that just because a, a relationship ends, that the violence stops. Woonsocket police say 56-year-old Glenn Benvenuti shot and killed his ex-wife, 45-year-old Michelle, before turning the gun on himself. According to data provided by the coalition, there have been 57 domestic homicide cases in Rhode Island in the last 10 years. Data from the past three years shows half of the homicides in that time frame involved guns. A 2017 law prohibits convicted domestic abusers from possessing possessing guns, but in the Benvenuti's case, police say the last time they were called for a domestic incident involving the couple was in 2013 and no charges were filed. This weekend's incident follows two other domestic murder suicides earlier this year, the first in Providence in March, the second in Warwick in April. Um, so we know that this happens in every single community. It does not discriminate based on gender, socio socioeconomic status, race. Um, it really impacts all communities and all of us. And again, the couple's seven-year-old son was home at the time. He was not hurt, and police do not believe he witnessed the crime. For more information on what you can do, if you or someone you know is the victim of domestic violence, you can head on over to our website, WPRI.com. Live in studio, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.